Test 4. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Part 1. Now look at the instructions for Part 1. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question 1. 1. What does the girl like to do when she is on holiday? Hi Jane, I hear you're going on holiday. Where are you going? I'm going to France. Are you going to spend some time on the beach? No, I don't like being in the sun. I prefer going to cities and sightseeing. I like to take photos of everything. My hobby is photography. I didn't know that. What about shopping? Girls always like buying new clothes and accessories in big department stores. No, I don't like shopping that much. Now, listen again. Hi Jane, I hear you're going on holiday. Where are you going? I'm going to France. Are you going to spend some time on the beach? No, I don't like being in the sun. I prefer going to cities and sightseeing. I like to take photos of everything. My hobby is photography. I didn't know that. What about shopping? Girls always like buying new clothes and accessories in big department stores. No, I don't like shopping that much. Two. What are they going to do this evening? It's Saturday. What shall we do this evening? Let's go to the cinema and watch the latest film. That's a great idea. Let's go. Wait a minute. It's raining a lot outside. There goes the plan then. What about playing board games? I'm terrible at board games. Let's do something different. There's a good film on television at 8 o'clock. That sounds great. Now, listen again. It's Saturday. What shall we do this evening? Let's go to the cinema and watch the latest film. That's a great idea. Let's go. Wait a minute. It's raining a lot outside. There goes the plan then. What about playing board games? I'm terrible at board games. Let's do something different. There's a good film on television at 8 o'clock. That sounds great. Three. How much did the girl pay for the pair of trainers? I went shopping with my mum today and bought some new trainers. All the shoes were on special offer. They were £60.50, but I got a 50% discount. That's amazing. Only £30.25 for such nice trainers. I was thinking of buying two pairs, but my mum didn't have so much money with her. She spent a lot of money on the supermarket. She paid £70.25 there. Maybe I can go back tomorrow and get another pair. Now, listen again. I went shopping with my mum today and bought some new trainers. All the shoes were on special offer. They were £60.50, but I got a 50% discount. That's amazing. Only £30.25 for such nice trainers. I was thinking of buying two pairs, but my mum didn't have so much money with her. She spent a lot of money on the supermarket. She paid £70.25 there. Maybe I can go back tomorrow and get another pair. Four. 
What fruit did the boy's sister put in his lunchbox in the end? Frankie, hurry up! You'll be late for school. I'm coming. I can't find my history book. It's under your bed. I have put some grapes in your lunchbox with your sandwiches. I hate grapes. Please, can I have a banana instead? Sure. I will get one out of the fridge. Do you want an apple too? No, thanks. Now listen again. Frankie, hurry up! You'll be late for school. I'm coming. I can't find my history book. It's under your bed. I have put some grapes in your lunchbox with your sandwiches. I hate grapes. Please, can I have a banana instead? Sure. I will get one out of the fridge. Do you want an apple too? No, thanks. Five. What will the boy need to buy for his holiday? Hey, Kareem. Are you ready for the school trip tomorrow? Not yet, but I have packed most of the things I'll need in my suitcase. Have you packed some shorts? Oh no, I haven't. Here they are. What's the weather going to be like there? <laughs> Very hot. I must take my red T-shirt. Oh no, it has ice cream on it. I'm gonna have to get a new one when I go shopping with my mum tomorrow. Don't forget your hat. The sun's gonna be very strong. Oh, I, I can't find it. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy a new hat as well. Hold on, here it is. Now listen again. Hey, Kareem. Are you ready for the school trip tomorrow? Not yet. But I have packed most of the things I'll need in my suitcase. Have you packed some shorts? Oh no, I haven't. Here they are. What's the weather going to be like there? <laughs> Very hot. I must take my red T-shirt. Oh no, it has ice cream on it. I'm gonna have to get a new one when I go shopping with my mum tomorrow. Don't forget your hat. The sun's going to be very strong. Oh, I, I can't find it. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy a new hat as well. Hold on. Here it is. Six. How will they communicate with each other? I hear you're moving to another city. Yes, my father's office is moving to Manchester. I'm very sad. I'm going to miss you and all my friends. I hope we can stay in touch. We can email each other every day. I can't because I need a new computer. My old one is broken. No problem. We both have mobile phones. We can call each other. That's a good idea, but won't it be too expensive? Why don't we write to each other? There's a letter box at the corner of the street. I hate letters. They take too long to write. Well, let's do what you said then. Now listen again. I hear you're moving to another city. Yes. My father's office is moving to Manchester. I'm very sad. I'm going to miss you and all my friends. I hope we can stay in touch. We can email each other every day. I can't because I need a new computer. My old one is broken. No problem. We both have mobile phones. We can call each other. That's a good idea. But won't it be too expensive? Why don't we write to each other? There's a letter box at the corner of the street. I hate letters. They take too long to write. Well. Let's do what you said then. Seven. Which instrument does the boy want to learn to play? I'd like to learn to play a musical instrument. Last year, I wanted to play the drums. But my parents said we didn't have room in the house where I could practice. Since then, I've been watching music shows on the television, and I love the trumpet and guitar. The trumpet is easier to carry around with me, though. That's why I want to learn that instrument. I also like it because it's very loud. I hope my parents are happy about that.
Now, listen again. I'd like to learn to play a musical instrument. Last year, I wanted to play the drums, but my parents said we didn't have room in the house where I could practice. Since then, I've been watching music shows on the television, and I love the trumpet and guitar. The trumpet is easier to carry around with me, though. That's why I want to learn that instrument. I also like it because it's very loud. I hope my parents are happy about that. That is the end of part one. Test four, part two. Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear two friends talking about their school trip on the river. That was a really good trip. The tour guide knew a lot about history. He was also very funny, but I didn't like the man in the cafe. I wanted a glass of lemon juice or hot chocolate, but he said he didn't have any more of either. What did you have instead? I had a glass of orange juice. I then asked him for a sandwich, but he didn't have any of that either. He was very rude. If we had told that to Miss Helen, she would have complained to the captain of the boat, and everything would be okay. He seemed to be really kind. Anyway, the rest of the trip was excellent, so I didn't think it was worth it. Now listen again. That was a really good trip. The tour guide knew a lot about history. He was also very funny, but I didn't like the man in the cafe. I wanted a glass of lemon juice or hot chocolate, but he said he didn't have any more of either. What did you have instead? I had a glass of orange juice. I then asked him for a sandwich, but he didn't have any of that either. He was very rude. If we had told that to Miss Helen, she would have complained to the captain of the boat, and everything would be okay. He seemed to be really kind. Anyway, the rest of the trip was excellent, so I didn't think it was worth it. Nine. You will hear a boy telling a friend about his new house. Hi, Steve. I haven't seen you since last month. Haven't you moved yet? Yes. We moved last week to a bigger house with a big garden. I thought you were moving into a large flat in the center of the city. No, we moved into a house ten minutes from the center. It was actually cheaper. That's very important for my parents. It has also two floors and three bedrooms. I thought your mom wanted a place with fewer bedrooms. Everyone seems to love the new place, so I guess she wouldn't mind at all, even if it had two more bedrooms. Now listen again. Nine. You will hear a boy telling a friend about his new house. Hi, Steve. I haven't seen you since last month. Haven't you moved yet? Yes. We moved last week to a bigger house with a big garden. I thought you were moving into a large flat in the center of the city. No. We moved into a house ten minutes from the center. It was actually cheaper. That's very important for my parents. It has also two floors and three bedrooms. I thought your mom wanted a place with fewer bedrooms. Everyone seems to love the new place, so I guess she wouldn't mind at all, even if it had two more bedrooms. Ten. You will hear two friends talking about school. You don't usually look so happy at the end of the school day. Yes, because we've usually been given a lot of homework to do for the next day. Not today, though. But you're a good student. You usually get high marks. I know, but it's very tiring to study every day. Anyway, do you remember the maths project I had to do last week? Yes. Well, the teacher said it was the best project in class, and she gave me a nice ruler as a present. Wow, that's great! Next time they can give you tickets to Disneyland. I wish to, but I think this is a very expensive present. Now listen again. Eleven. You will hear a boy talking about a train horny he had with his parents. Mark, how was the journey with your parents? We have just come from Manchester on the train. It was too long. I'm very exhausted. First the train was very late, and then when we got to Birmingham, the train guard told us we had to get a bus. Why did you have to catch a bus? Engineers were working on the train track, and the line was closed for about 50 miles. Now listen again. Eleven. 
you will hear a boy talking about a train horny he had with his parents. Mark, how was the journey with your parents? We have just come from Manchester on the train, it was too long. I'm very exhausted. First the train was very late and then when we got to Birmingham, the train guard told us we had to get a bus. Why did you have to catch a bus? Engineers were working on the train track and the line was closed for about 50 miles. 12. You will hear a girl telling her friend about her summer course. Hello Sheila, how is your cows going? I don't really enjoy it. Most of the time I have to study. Why don't you start a new hobby? I think you like taking photos, don't you? Yes, but I don't have enough time to do so. There's loads of stuff online for joining a photography club. You need to meet once during the week and once at the weekend. So it won't take much of your time studying. This will also be a good chance to meet new people and make friends. Now listen again. 12. You will hear a girl telling her friend about her summer course. Hello Sheila, how is your cows going? I don't really enjoy it. Most of the time I have to study. Why don't you start a new hobby? I think you like taking photos, don't you? Yes, but I don't have enough time to do so. There's loads of stuff online for joining a photography club. You need to meet once during the week and once at the weekend. So it won't take much of your time studying. This will also be a good chance to meet new people and make friends. 13. You will hear two friends talking about their new teacher. Hello, Peter, have you met the new physics teacher? I had a class with him on Wednesday, we made an interesting experiment in the science lab. He's really strange, isn't he? He has a lot of really long curly hair and all his clothes are black. He might like rock music then, I don't think he's strange. The problem is that he speaks very fast and I can't understand what he says. I don't have such a problem with him. Anyway. He doesn't look anything like our other teachers. That's for sure. I guess we should wait and see. Now listen again. 13. You will hear two friends talking about their new teacher. Hello, Peter. Have you met the new physics teacher? I had a class with him on Wednesday. We made an interesting experiment in the science lab. He's really strange, isn't he? He has a lot of really long curly hair and all his clothes are black. He might like rock music then, I don't think he's strange. The problem is that he speaks very fast and I can't understand what he says. I don't have such a problem with him. Anyway, he doesn't look anything like our other teachers. That's for sure. I guess we should wait and see. Test 4. Part 3. Now look at Part 3. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words or a number or a date or a time. Look at questions 14 to 19 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear a film actor called Roger talking on the school radio about his typical day on a film set. Hi everyone, today I will tell you about my typical day filming. It sounds like a great job, but it really is very tiring. Every day I get up at 4 in the morning and I have to be ready by 4.30 to get in the car to the studio. In the winter, it's still dark, and as the studio is only half an hour away, I'm there at five, and I don't get a chance to have a quick sleep. As soon as I get to the studio, I go to the hairdresser who brushes my hair into the hairstyle of the character I am playing. This usually takes about half an hour. When she finishes doing my hair, I don't have to move from the chair, because the makeup lady comes to me and prepares me for filming. At the moment, I'm playing a police officer, so I don't need a lot of makeup. In my last film, I played the part of a big monster, and I needed a lot of makeup, which took five hours to do. 
It wasn't comfortable sitting in the same chair for such a long time. After makeup, I am given my costume to put on. At this point, I am now ready to act, but it is never like that. The film director is either late or the engineers haven't finished with the scenery or lights. We don't usually start on time. When they are ready, I go into the studio and we act out the different scenes. This takes all day until about 5 p.m. when they remove my makeup and I get changed back into my normal clothes. A car then takes me home, where I have dinner and go to bed, usually about 10 p.m. Then the same happens the next day and every day during filming. And that's my typical day. Now, listen again. Hi everyone. Today I will tell you about my typical day filming. It sounds like a great job, but it really is very tiring. Every day I get up at 4 in the morning, and I have to be ready by 4.30 to get in the car to the studio. In the winter, it's still dark, and as the studio is only half an hour away, I'm there at 5, and I don't get a chance to have a quick sleep. As soon as I get to the studio, I go to the hairdresser who brushes my hair into the hairstyle of the character I am playing. This usually takes about half an hour. When she finishes doing my hair, I don't have to move from the chair because the makeup lady comes to me and prepares me for filming. At the moment, I'm playing a police officer, so I don't need a lot of makeup. In my last film, I played the part of a big monster, and I needed a lot of makeup, which took five hours to do. It wasn't comfortable sitting in the same chair for such a long time. After makeup, I am given my costume to put on. At this point, I am now ready to act, but it is never like that. The film director is either late or the engineers haven't finished with the scenery or lights. We don't usually start on time. When they are ready, I go into the studio and we act out the different scenes. This takes all day until about 5 p.m. when they remove my makeup and I get changed back into my normal clothes. A car then takes me home, where I have dinner and go to bed, usually about 10 p.m. Then the same happens the next day and every day during filming. And that's my typical day. That is the end of part three. Test four. Part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 20 to 25 now. You have 45 seconds. You will hear an interview with a 16-year-old girl called Jenny who went on a school exchange to America for a month. Jenny, you have just returned from a school exchange to America for a month. Why did you want to take part in the exchange project? Well, most of the students who went on the exchange wanted to travel, or they just wanted to be away from their parents for a while. For me, it was a bit more personal, as my father has been offered a job in New York, and I wanted to see if I would like it there or not. So how did your parents react to you going away for such a long time? Were they worried? I don't think they were very worried. They knew how excited I was, though, and they always do whatever they can to help me do the things I want to do. Plus, they knew that I would be safe and well looked after. Who did you stay with in America? Well, I thought I was going to be staying with a family with three children, but something happened. I think the father got sick. I ended up staying with a rich couple called John and Candy who didn't have any children, although they did have a couple of dogs. How was their home different to your home in the UK? For a start, it was on quite a busy and noisy street, and we live on a very small, quiet street. It was also really big, especially as there were only two of them living in it. My whole family could easily live there, and it wouldn't be crowded. Also, it was beautifully decorated, and had a lovely garden at the back, 
that is probably three times the size of our garden. Was there anything or anyone that you missed while you were away? I thought I would miss my dog, but because they had two dogs, I didn't really miss him too much. Also, a lot of my friends had gone with me on the exchange, so I saw them every day. However, it was quite difficult to be so far away from my brother and sister, even though they annoy me a lot when I'm at home. Finally, Jenny, what do you think you gained from the whole experience? I liked being away from home, but with my friends from England, it was really good for me to learn how to live without my parents. I'm braver than I thought I was. Also, I loved America, so I am happy that we might move there for my dad's new job. Thank you for talking to us, Jenny, and good luck to you and your family in America. Now listen again, Jenny. You have just returned from a school exchange to America for a month. Why did you want to take part in the exchange project? Well, most of the students who went on the exchange wanted to travel, or they just wanted to be away from their parents for a while. For me, it was a bit more personal, as my father has been offered a job in New York, and I wanted to see if I would like it there or not. So, how did your parents react to you going away for such a long time? Were they worried? I don't think they were very worried. They knew how excited I was, though, and they always do whatever they can to help me do the things I want to do. Plus, they knew that I would be safe and well looked after. Who did you stay with in America? Well, I thought I was going to be staying with a family, with three children, but something happened. I think the father got sick. I ended up staying with a rich couple called John and Candy, who didn't have any children, although they did have a couple of dogs. How was their home different to your home in the UK? For a start, it was on quite a busy and noisy street, and we live on a very small, quiet street. It was also really big, especially as there were only two of them living in it. My whole family could easily live there, and it wouldn't be crowded. Also, it was beautifully decorated and had a lovely garden at the back, that is probably three times the size of our garden. Was there anything or anyone that you missed while you were away? I thought I would miss my dog, but because they had two dogs, I didn't really miss him too much. Also, a lot of my friends had gone with me on the exchange. So I saw them every day. However, it was quite difficult to be so far away from my brother and sister, even though they annoy me a lot when I'm at home. Finally, Jenny, what do you think you gained from the whole experience? I liked being away from home, but with my friends from England, it was really good for me to learn how to live without my parents. I'm braver than I thought I was. Also, I loved America. So I am happy that we might move there for my dad's new job. Thank you for talking to us, Jenny, and good luck to you and your family in America. That is the end of part four. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.